Hello and welcome back to Bitswell for Let's Play uh, Season 1 Episode 6. Right, I've gathered up some grass and I've also brought some uh, potatoes over I think um, to the pigs. As you can see, because we're giving the water the production's gone up to 40%. So what we do is we're running. If anybody, you know, as I said before, if you don't, if you've not done pigs before, um, you can run through. Same as the straw, you can run this uh, forest harvester through. Oh, we've got some pig muck in there, so we're going to have to. Thing about getting a front loader. The I'm sure you can give them grass. Oh, where was it? There you go. You unload, and it puts it as silage. Same as the cows. If if you. Uh, That's give us twenty eight and a half thousand. The manure is twenty five thousand, which is um, the maximum. What we do is we run this back in a minute. Potatoes. So, yep, they take root vegetables as well, pigs. In this one. Ooh. Take potatoes and uh, sugar beet. So what I do is I've still got a little bit of. Uh, we do win. Still got a little bit of um, sugar beet left. So I'll go and collect that and stick that in for them as well. Quickly. What I was thinking of getting for the front loader is the uh, little bobcat. Great little machine that is. Love it. I want to find a bobcat so we'll be able to muck out with it and also a little jobs we can go over uh, to the you're joking that's just stuff me up uh, the tato. I had a tato drop out. It's not even registered, but now that means I can't. I've got to go around and see if I can empty it in. empty a tater that wasn't even there <laughs> oh well so we'll take a wide berth around a potato thing and we'll get no we've not got no sugar beet I might have sold that then 
Oh no. It's just finding a trigger point. So nearly 9,000 uh, sugar beet until we can get the harvest going on the sugar beet or the potatoes we need a fair bit of money for that see all the bug splat on my window screen they're gonna be a big bug splat yeah I'm not stopping this time There you go, productivity on the pigs has now gone up to 80% with us giving them a uh, root or earth fruit as they call it root uh, vegetable root vegetables goes in the same one that should keep them munching for a little bit little munchers so what we do I just heard a little pig go What we do is we drop this trail off and we will go and get our bobcat I think if we've got enough money I'm hoping so Oh we're playing this, oh no 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 I'm going this up to the farm shop get rid of the PDA I know where the farm shop is from here I think <laughs> we'll find out That there is the where you sell grass and straw and things. A horse farm or ranch or whatever you want to call it. What you have to do is you have to let me know if you prefer um, small episodes, half hour ones or an hour. But what I'll do anyway is uh, I'll try and upload 
two half hours anyway. But what I can do instead of you know, giving you the intro, I can just carry on. So you have to let me know on that one. Turn that off. Let's go and see if we've got enough to buy a little bobcat. Here, yeah, little bobcat, where are you? As you can see, got a couple more trailers in there. I've also put in uh, NI Modding's cane trailers so we'll be giving them a spin as well uh, front loaders there we are and yes by the bobcat we will get the manure grass chaff and silage fork I think Yeah, you've got a pallet, bale, silage grab, that's 17.50, which this is 2,000. And a high tip bucket, we'll try that later, that's quite a nifty little bucket that is. Oh yeah, and I believe, almost missed out, it's got a little trailer as well. So we're by its little trailer, that's why I brought it over. The tractor. Look at this, super little, little looking bobcat. This was from the competition as well. Nice little thing. Well made. Well put together. Should have really, I think it came in at, um, let me just have a look, 12, by Euro DZN. Should have been placed higher, in my opinion, but, hey. Uh, was supposed to be objective. See this thing, spins on a... Penny this, look at that. Once you get used to it, magic little thing. What we do is while we're over here, we go shovel a couple of shovels of silage into the. Because it costs road. Woo! Woo! Look at that, see? Told ya. Gotta get used to it. Do a little bit on screen of this. And just spin round and away you go. I've I've actually used this on uh, my own one, and in some respects, it's actually quicker using this. Because you can spin round and away you go straight away, it's it probably not, but it's quicker using this than it is using a tractor. Because there you go, you spin round straight away, off you go. Whereas a tractor you're reversing, waiting for it to kick in to go forward. This one, 
just dump away spin round, away you go that's what the bobcat's designed to so you're in and out fairly quick goes in tight spaces nicely as well see that, spin round, once you get used to the spinning round bit you can go quite quick with it making us some lovely money there I know obviously if you got the cat with a 25,000 bucket you know one scoop up and away you go but magic little thing magic love it make ourselves a bit of money first So quick and nifty. And obviously if on this uh, map you, you've got the pipe out for getting your grain out as well as you in your barn, but if you only had your barn and you have to use a front loader all the time and it's tight in there give the bobcat a go probably the only drawback is obviously the height but it can reach quite a way but with the grain bucket they've put on um, it's got a front tilt system so if you get it over the trailer it just tilts over which is a nifty little gizmo quid's worth of silage already just bombing backwards and forwards in a little bobcat didn't know pandas like cats did you? As long as they don't try and eat us pandas, we're not too much worried. You know, we like cats. But it's when they try and eat us, we don't like them. I mean, the top speed's only. 12 mile an hour, it's not a it's not designed to be a super fast machine but because you can zip it backwards and forwards quite quick it makes it quite efficient I mean if I carried on with this it wouldn't take long to get my money back, that I've just paid for it. I'll just do this one and then we'll load it on. And we will go and shovel some... <laughs> I could get in trouble, but uh, some manure, I will say. It's a family show, you know. We 
going to say the top speed's 12 mile an hour, but it's a nifty little thing, nifty. There I was, I've, I've took our trailer back and we need one for Manua. Drop the ramps on the trailer. Turn the bobcat off. Jump in. Lock our load. Lift our ramps. And our little cat is all tucked away, ready. So we take it to our piggies. If you had, so you'd have thought about it, they'll give you a little trailer, so you know you don't have to go find the little trailer. Uh, probably the I for William trailer would have done it, but they give you a nice little trailer with it, so you can load it on, transport it, because it'd be, you know, quite a slow ride everywhere to load, lower the ramps, turn that one off, I will just, yep, nip back and get a little trailer. takes manure. Depends if we've got enough money. Our little bobcat took give us enough money to buy a cane trailer. Can, if you've got any excess grass and straw you can dump it off in your bins here this one to the left is grass the one to the right is straw yeah I mean because this yard's quite tight little bobcat 
spinning around. Yo, does he? Don't move much, does he? Does he? It's um. Hmm. I know it's getting old, but. Supposed to have come from Leicestershire, Desi awkward. Well, let's just check, see if we will a cane trailer take Manua. Wheat, barley, maize, rape, potatoes, grass, sugar, beet, raff, chaffa, silage. Doesn't say so. So I'm not 100% sure what I have to do is I'd have to check. So we're not. These ones. Hmm. I know this. Even though it doesn't say it does, I know this one does. So we we'll have to. Because I don't know whether the in game ones do. Let's just check. Newer spreaders. Dippers. No, see that's that's been a problem in the past. The actual in game ones don't take manure. So yeah. Okay. Might have to leave the manure and check it out, see which one. Because that doesn't say it's chaff and grass. I might have to have a look in some XML, see if they've actually put it in there, but not actually put it in the description. If you know what I mean. That one doesn't. That one says, well, don't say that one. Have we got enough? I know this one does because this one takes mixed rations and um. We just got enough to buy that. So we have to buy that, run over and get that. We'll weave around there. And a triplets, quads, whatever. Blimey, there's hundreds of them. Going there. The 360 there. See, that's a problem if um, the only drawback to some mods if they don't put the information in the description you're a bit 
toss a coin in the air whether it will or not. And that car's still in the ditch. I think I'm going to sell it for scrap. See how much I get for it. Oh yeah, the other thing. That's speed limit just noticed. Um, on this map is uh, speed cameras, so just be careful you don't get clobbered. There's a good chance I have already. <laughs> If it's no light Britain it's a uh, speed ticket and three points on a license. Well, it's supposed to be based on Britain so yeah you've got 12 points in your band. I don't know how that goes on with, um, I suppose you can still, if you're a farmer, you'd still be allowed to drive on the land, would you? If you got banned from driving or, if anybody knows, that'd be interesting. If you get banned from driving, can you still drive your tractors on the land or is that it? Your total band. Can't drive tractor, can't drive car, anything. Never really thought about that one actually. I know if you if you're a lorry driver, if you get banned, you're banned, so you lose your job sort of thing. But the easiest thing I've found, um, I don't know whether it's easy or not, probably not, you probably find an easier way. I mean if you've got a cap and it's got a 25,000 bucket you can just just about get down here and scoop it in one go. But if you put your trailer in a little bit. In a little bobcat. Away we go. Upset the pigs, put a little flashy light on. See, it lifts up quite high. I'm trying to get it out for you. Oops. A bit too close that one, wasn't it? I 
think I'm getting in there. I might not be. Oh yeah, I can see someone going in. That's the only drawback with the little bob, I suppose. That's why there's a ramp in the uh, yard. get the John Deere next time, give that a go. I mean it would fit, it is more um, the box round the actual trailer that's when uh, Sort of made. There we go. Yeah, see, empty there. Right, you get the idea anyway. What I do is I'll carry on off screen with this. And uh, hopefully, just get out of this place. Yeah, hopefully next time we uh, we'll be able to maybe buy some chickens or a couple of cows. I will um, probably fast forward time to see if we can get the harvest done and make some money. This is Panda Mushroom, thank you for watching.